Okay. Here we go. You gotta be f kidding me. One, Go. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness, you're about to go through some pain, but it's good pain. You're gonna grow from this pain, and that is an awesome thing. What is up, YouTubers? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Mike Johnson from Mike'sLessons.com here, and we are working on Tabata intervals. So if you don't know what that is, that's gonna be 20 seconds of max effort followed by a 10 second rest. And this is a great way to build up your raw speed. Now, what do I mean when I say raw speed? Well, when it comes to speed, I divide everything up into two categories. There's raw speed and there's pattern speed. Raw speed is how fast you can do anything that requires zero thought. So double strokes are a great example. That's what we're gonna be using today. In double strokes, I'm not wondering what comes after right, right. I don't go right, right, Ah, oh, crap, let me look at the PDF. Okay, left, left. There's no thought to this. I know that it's just right, right, left, left. The pattern is 100% memorized. Same thing with single strokes. Right, uh, I think it's left. No, I know it's right, left, right, left, right, left. And I don't have to think about that at all. And then it's just raw speed. Pattern speed, however, is very different. You can think about the first time you learned pair deals. You actually did struggle to go right, left, right, what is it? Left, right, left, that's right. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So it wasn't the two singles that were slowing you down and it wasn't the double stroke that was slowing you down. It was actually the pattern, the pattern recognition. You were waiting for your brain to memorize the motor function and the pattern of right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So a lot of times if I'm working on something and I think I'm slow at it, I ask myself, Am I physically slow at this, or is the pattern what's slowing me down? Is my CPU freezing on all of this information and I can't remember the pattern? So what we're gonna be working on today is your raw speed. And this is actually a lesson called the Tabata Nightmare that's from the new hand speed course on mikeslessons.com. So if you want to work on your hand speed, head over there after this lesson, get all signed up, and there are lots of courses that will take you step by step through each hand speed exercise, starting as slow as 60 BPM, all the way up to, ah, that's pretty fast. Now in this exercise, it's gonna be 20 seconds on for max effort double. So we're gonna use a Tabata timer and it's gonna go for 20 seconds. We're gonna go as fast as we can with double strokes, burn it out, burn it out. Even if the technique's a little bit sloppy, that's okay. Burn it out, we're trying to tear down those muscle fibers so they can rebuild stronger and faster. Then you will have a 10 second rest period. When we do the 20 seconds together, we are not gonna play at the same tempo. You're gonna play as fast as you can, I'll play as fast as I can. We'll just max out and be in pain together. Then when it comes to the 10 second rest period, we're still gonna play doubles, but we will lock up. So we're going, we're going, going, and then we take a rest, and then we're gonna lock up. Three, four, and I'll count you in for that. And then she'll count us back in. She, by the way, is over here, and she is a freaking little minx. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest, and we're gonna do that for six full sets. So three minutes total of work. Are you ready to do this? You have to do this with me. Please don't just watch this video. You have to do this with me. Go get your pad now. Go get your sticks. Let's do this thing. Okay, I'm gonna press go, and you just start firing off your doubles as fast as you can. It'll take me a second because I gotta grab my stick. Here we go. Tupac, Biggie, little help, thank you. Doubles. Go for it, go for it. Max effort doubles. Try to keep the technique at least somewhat decent. This is not great technique. I'm using quite a bit of arms right now. I'm not happy about that, but I'm trying to push the muscles as hard as I can so they can rebuild faster and stronger. Three, two, one. All right, now you're with Press. me. Slow doubles. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Three, oh, you gotta be kidding two, me already. One, Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, biscuits. It's starting to burn a little bit. It's starting to get a little forearm pump going here. You gotta do this with me. Please do this with me. Don't make me suffer by myself. Come on, woman. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Three, two, one. All right. You'll appreciate those rest periods when they get here. Stay with me. We're almost done. Three, right close to, oh, come two, on! One, double. Max effort, go. I feel like this room's running out of air. Maybe there's more oxygen up here. <laughs> come on. Mm, Lord, help me. Mm. Three, two, Okay, one, here we go. You gotta be f kidding me. One, doubles. Go. <laughs> mm. 
Keep it as smooth as you can for how much this hurts. Oh. Lord love a duck. Biscuits, buttercups, blueberry pies. Three, two, one. Oh my Best. god, my arms are on fire. This part's fun. I wish this part lasted a little longer. Three. Come on! Two, one. Double. Go. Yeah, I'm done being funny. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done talking to you. This freaking hurts. Go. Come on. Oh. oh, we've got eight more seconds. We can do this. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay. I think this is our last set. You still better be doing this with me. Oh my goodness. Three. Okay, two, sweet cheeks. We're one. coming. Double. Freaking go for it. This is our. This is our last set. This is our last set. Woohoo! Oh my god, my forearms feel like freaking Popeye. Why is there no air in here? If you're just watching this Three, to watch me suffer, you're a two, jerk. One. Okay. Your timer is complete. Don't listen to her. Slow down with me. Let's do a little cool down period. Holy hellfire. So, that is the Tabata Nightmare. You could obviously do this with anything you want. You could do it with singles. You could do it with anything that doesn't require thought. Paradils is fine, inverted paradils, whatever you have memorized. Now I wanna be really clear about something. This is not how I want you to always practice. This is how I want you to build your raw speed mainly singles and doubles. After that, I do want you to practice with perfect technique. I do want you to practice in front of a mirror and look at yourself and make sure that you're not using your arms when you should be using your wrists or your fingers. This is also a great way to build foot speed. You can do this with right, right, kick, kick, right, right, kick, or right, left, kick, kick, and Tabata out for 20 seconds, go max effort, and then 10 seconds off. But like I said, that's not how you practice all drumming. This is just for people that are trying to build their raw speed, trying to tear down those muscle fibers and let them build faster and stronger. So YouTubers, I hope you did that with me. I hope you struggled with me and didn't just watch me in pain. That would just be, well, that'd be mean. And you're not mean, right? YouTube is a supportive community. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, go check out all the hand speed courses at mikeslessons.com. Have fun with those things and enjoy that feeling of accomplishment as you graduate from one lesson to the next to the next and then eventually from one course to the next to the next to the next. But until next time, go practice. <laughs> I was able to stare at the camera the whole time. Did my throne just squeak? <laughs> Bye, guys.